The fortune's in the follow-up, so let's talk about follow-up sequences inside of Minichat and using your real estate bot to automatically follow up with your leads inside of email, text, messenger, Instagram, all of the channels to create an omni-marketing uh, follow-up experience. So let's go ahead and dive in to the sequences inside of Minichat. So sequences are under automation and sequences. So click automation, click sequences, and you'll see here that we have some sequences already built out for the real estate bot template that you can get at realestatemessengerbot.com. Uh, but basically what's going on is that these are messages that are created in a day-by-day uh, -day sequence to follow up with your leads. So we'll check out this first one and then I'll show you how to create your own sequences as well. Uh, so the eight by eight week uh, eight by eight, eight week buyer follow-up. This is email and text follow-up that we have created. So the first thing you'll see here on the left is uh, a schedule. So you can schedule it. So when they uh, are subscribed to the sequence, which happens inside of any flow, any chatbot flow that you've created, uh, you can click on an action, subscribe them to a sequence. And once you have created the sequence, you just are able to select that sequence. I can show you that here in a second. Uh, where you can do that. Um, but once they are subscribed to it, then the schedule comes into play. So this one specifically doesn't trigger until seven days uh, after they are subscribed to it, since they're already interacting inside of uh, Messenger and everything. We want to give them a couple days to, to start following up. So we have the schedule. We can select it where we have uh, how many days we want to send it out. If we want to send it immediately, if they want to send it within minutes or hours or days, you can select those. Uh, time frames. You can also send it between a specific time. <clears throat> so let's say uh, you obviously don't want to send it, you know, a text message at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, so make sure that you have selected a specific time. And also, uh, if you want to do any day or only specific days, you can do that. So our email is uh, set between 10 a.m. and um, what do we do 10 10 a.m and 11 a.m so we want to send those emails in the morning and that's what we uh, have scheduled here for these sequences <clears throat> so each one is its own uh essentially flow however we've created an email as opposed to like a messenger flow uh, so these have already been created and, and basically you just uh, add them into the sequence uh, you can do that beforehand or while you're building the sequence um, but when you get it and you open it up, you'll just see that this is an email that has been uh, created. We wrote the, the email out and you can just plug in the email for your uh, buyer sequence. So again, this is you know the first email you, and then a week later you get another email, a week later you get another email, a week later you get a text message. Uh, and of course this is after they have submitted their email and text to your chatbot and it's been captured inside a mini chat <clears throat> uh, and then email 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 text so what we do after this is we actually send them to another sequence we send them to the 33 touch so after the the first one is going to be uh weekly for eight weeks and then every uh 11 days for it, it goes over 365 days and then recycles itself. These are evergreen messages. Uh, you can see here that they are all scheduled out for 11 days uh, and text messages get sent only, uh, or they don't get sent on Sundays and only through specific, specific times. Um, and then it goes all the way down. And then we have a trigger in here that basically restarts the sequence uh, to the beginning. <clears throat> so that's how you, set up a, like an email and text follow-up inside the sequences also show you the uh the messenger follow-up as well real quick uh so we have uh, essentially the same thing we create a schedule where we want to send it and then we create a message and these ones are specifically for uh messenger so this one's kind of a complicated uh message i'll show you a more simple one <clears throat> so the message uh, you know, it's a quick follow-up message. They get this message, just wanted to reach out. I'll let you know we have a number of properties for sale in your area. Are you ready to start looking for properties? Yes or no. And then you get another message, call an agent, basically just trying to get them on the phone. So these are follow-up messages that are happening inside of, uh, inside of Messenger.
So these also have, uh, you know, there is a 24 hour rule where you can't send automated follow up messages inside of Messenger outside of 24 hours since they have interacted. So these do follow those rules. I'll cover the 24 hour rule in, a, in another video, uh, but you'll see that um, we have an, a condition here that says, uh, you know, the last interaction in Messenger is less than a day ago. Uh, if if it, if it isn't, then we won't send them a message. If it is, then you will send the message. There's also a send within 24 hour window just for redundancy purposes to make sure that it doesn't send out of 24 hours. So sometimes the all these follow-ups don't send, but if they are interacting with the messages, then they will send. But that's also why we have the email, text, and also sponsored broadcasting that we can broadcast to our database. Uh, so that's that's the automated sequences essentially. So let me walk you through real quick how to do it from starting your new sequence. So you're gonna hit uh, new sequence. You're gonna you're gonna name it whatever you want. You're going to click the new messages. The schedule is let's say you want it uh, to be sent immediately after they scheduled. So you create a flow again. I'll show you this part in in just a second. And in that flow. Once they've interacted, you create an action that subscribes them to the sequence. They'll automatically receive um, this message. All right, so uh, we're going to create a new reply right here. It's going to be a messenger. Thanks for checking us out. And then blah, 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 blah. You write this message. Check out the uh, the flow building um, training video if you need help with creating the actual chatbot flow. But let's just say that this is your message and it's been created. Now we can go to sequences. And you'll see that the flow is right here. Uh, we're going to turn it on. And then now we have a test sequence that we can subscribe people to. Um, so I did say immediately. However, uh, if they're interacting with a message, your messenger, and you have an immediate response that is messenger, it's going to interrupt the other message. So uh, just be mindful of that if you're creating an immediate response. Um, most of the time, it's probably going to be, you know, like 10 minutes later or something like that. If you want to send a quick message, you can do that. So 10 minutes later, it's going to send this message. And then... You can create another one after one day, after one hour, whatever it is. Uh, you can do that inside of this uh, flow or this sequence. So once we've created those series of messages, whether it's Messenger, Instagram, email, text, or a combination of all of those, then how we get them to sub be subscribed to it is inside of you know, another flow. So let's say we create this flow. Okay, and then when they click this button, we're gonna create an action, and that action is going to be uh, subscribe to sequence. So that's how you subscribe them to the sequence, whether it's from a button, automatically, however you add that into your flow, you can subscribe them to the sequence inside of an action. And then you just look for the sequence that you have. So we just created the test and you can see that it popped up right there. Now, now you have a flow that when, when they come into this flow, they say, hello, you click, click me, they click it and they get subscribed to the sequence. Say, thanks. You're subscribed now. 10 minutes later, they'll receive that other message. Uh, so obviously there's, uh, you know, infinite ways to, kind of create this whole follow-up sequence. There's a lot of different things you can do. That is how you create it from scratch. Uh, but again, we've already created, you know, uh, let's say we got eight messages, eight messages, 33 messages, five, six, five, five, six, five. All those different uh, messages have already been created inside of the real estate bot template. If you don't have it, uh, you can get it at realestatemessengerbot.com or just go ahead and follow these videos and create your own. Uh, either way, if you have any questions about how to use sequences, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more training, training videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.